Hi, uh, my name is Natty Burmeister. I'm the technical director at Akimbo Studios. Uh, we're the makers of Super Sweeper. Uh, and if you're here, you're interested in learning more, just seeing a tutorial of how it works. I'm stoked to get to show this product to you. We've been working on it as a studio for a couple years, trying to make it the best that it could possibly be. Uh, so I am hoping that this will answer any questions you might have. Let's just jump into it. For this tutorial, uh, I decided to kind of break it into three different scenarios uh, to kind of illustrate the flexibility of this tool and also show the different uses that we have used it as a studio kind of within. Um, so the most basic one I think is it's when you get given a project file that is just in utter disarray. The most simple usage is that if you have nothing selected over in your project window and you just come over here, you click organize, uh, it will show you how many solids, audio files, images, videos, project files, comps that it sorts. And if you come over into your build folder, uh, you'll see that those files will be organized by the file type, by the extension of the file. If it can be loaded into After Effects and it works in After Effects, you'll see that it's going to be spit out um, into one of these folders just based on, yeah, you see MOV, MP4, MXF files. These are PNG sequences since they have video associated with them. And then all of your pre-comps are sorted into the next folder. That's the most basic use case. Sometimes you have some order in within the project file that you want to maintain. Most of the time you don't want something to destroy any kind of order that you've already put together. And so in the second instance, this is the most common use when I'm using it. And so if I select this comp and then I select the root folder as well, and I run that organize again, Super Super will keep whatever you have selected. If it's an asset, it will just pull that asset. If it's a folder, it will pull that folder and everything that's within it and save it out to the root. The reason we included this is so that this can be something that you don't just sweep once. It, you can continue to sweep it kind of as you continue to work on the project. And the other toggle that helps with that is reduce project by selection. If I have that selected and I go ahead and click organize, you can see that it also runs reduce. Seven items that were not used by the selected items have been deleted. You can undo if desired. So that's kind of the second use case is it's not just like a kickoff point. It's a good for continued like use throughout a project. Like every time that I save, I also will run a sweep of the project. Uh, just to make sure that anything that's like stray or loose will get swept up. So if I have like a project import that maybe has another project import inside of it, you have folders within folders. As soon as you're done kind of integrating that import into your main project, you can run or reduce. It will basically make everything so that the deepest that the layer can be outside of stuff you have selected is I think five. It is five folders deep. Uh, so you should not have any more zipping issues. The last use case that I want to talk through is uh, custom search folders. We included this just because sometimes you'll have comps that you maybe don't have like already organized, but you want to apply some of your own organization to them. So in this instance, uh, I know that I have a couple comps that are shots, like different, you can see them all down here, as well as I know that I have at least one assembly folder that has assembly in the name. So if I put this is my string search for assembly, and then I know that each of these shots has shot with a space after it. And then maybe I want to make one more extra folder, um, and I'm gonna call this images. I know I have a couple comps that have OG in the name, so I'm just gonna include that. If I come back and get my uh, edit here and example project selected and run it one more time, you'll see that I have 46 comps that matched these three different searches that are saved to custom folders. And if I open up my build, all of my shots are saved into shots. Uh, my assembly is saved into assembly, and it looks like my images uh, have OG in them as well. Uh, and again, you can add as many of these as you'd like, uh, and then just hit reset to go back to the beginning. So that's a brief overview of how Super Sweeper works. So if you have any suggestions, uh, there's a link to join our beta testing Discord on 80 scripts. Please do if you get the chance. Thank you for taking the time, and uh, we're stoked to have you on board the Super Sweeper train. So cheers.